Hello, my name is Kark City 2 and welcome back to our Break Tech New Horizons Season 2. Last episode, we got our combustion engine up and running, and uh, I sort of connected it to the, the thing here, um, but unfortunately uh, i do have a machine controller on it but uh, unfortunately we do kind of run into a bit of an issue with this the way i have this set up is that once it hits the threshold it'll toggle on and off and uh unfortunately with this it does have like a startup time so you're actually kind of wasting uh fuel by doing that if it's like constantly turning on and off it might drop down to like 50 percent or even lower if it is like really uh, not running much at all. Uh, so it's not a great solution, but uh, I kind of just have it set up to run uh, when it gets down low at the moment until I can get this like fully, fully automated. And then we'll kind of get to a point where we won't have to really worry about if it's wasting some fuel. I don't, I don't want it to, but uh, uh, for example, like we can get basically infinite oil from the super huge Greg Tech thing. So, like, we'll get to a point where it really doesn't matter if we're wasting it, as long as it keeps running. Uh, but we are actually, you know, going through this pretty dang quick, to be honest. Um, along with our thing. I do want this to be our main power source. I could upgrade this to uranium, but uh, I haven't done that yet so i kind of just have this running uh, if i hit the strong signal off it actually doesn't give it enough signal to turn that on um so until i get this i'm going to set it get this set up pretty quick here um i kind of just want this to be filling up so we're not uh we're not wasting it because yeah that uh startup time as we can see it's dropping down 50 percent and uh I wish I was better at redstone where I could have it like only turn on between these two, like drop down to 10% empty and then turn off when it gets up to 80%. But the problem is when it gets to 80%, it just toggles on and off. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'm going to leave that now for the meantime. I do want to get satane boosted diesel now. I really should. Now that we have this set up, I'm going to move all this stuff. I've decided once I get the the next rocket going, um, I'm going to start moving all this stuff. So uh, I don't want to touch it right now because it's all set up to produce TNT. I'm pretty sure we have enough. We have, what, a thousand ITNT there. I think that'll get us the next rocket, but I don't want to touch that until I know for sure. Um, and then we will move this off into its own kind of power gen. Or not a power gen, but its own uh, own area. So it is spread out a bit. And eventually we will move these as well. But uh, for now, they are working. But uh, yeah, I think I do want to get Satane Boosted Diesel. Because the thing is actually running on that high gasoline we got from the Quest. But I mean, I've gone through 46 buckets already. Uh, so this is going to go... Pretty quick. So I, I want to get the Satane. And plus we need it for our rockets. I still have some left over from that original. 64 buckets of Satane I think we got. Or even more than that from all those quests originally. But uh, I think, yeah. I think I want to do that. And I've been uh, throwing some tungsten steel in there as I go. Uh, I still have quite a bit more to... I think we need 63 more ingots if i remember i think it's, it's you need two stacks because that's two stacks of ingots is four stacks of wires is what you need you need four stacks of wires for these 16 coils but uh yeah i'm so kind of working on that also haven't got around to dealing with all our depleted we've gone through four cycles of that and i i haven't dealt with that yet because we don't other than the um the lutetium, which we don't need yet. Um, I have thousands of iron, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, so let me start 
looking into this. Um, I think I'll probably just have to. Kind of go off this and feed this. I mean, I could always just do a P2P. It would make that instead of running all these <laughs> crazy things over. Um, I do need to. Deal with the hydrogen, though. Uh, because I have moved that. Um, so these aren't getting fed hydrogen anymore. But again, that's just P2P channels. Um, all right. Also, that blindness, that is annoying. I think it's fixed in the an update. You don't get that. That's from, uh, I think that's from Warp. But man, is that annoying. Also, I haven't kept an eye on this. Yeah, it's decently high, but, I mean, it's not. Only 400,000. It's not like millions. All right. Uh, let me get this going. Now, this isn't tetro nitro methane or whatever we need. No. No. What's it called? Uh, we'll just... Let's do that. Let's start from that. So, I will... I don't actually, you don't actually need this. Just doing it in this mixer is perfectly fine. Um, so we'll say that. Then I need that. You do start getting a bit annoying with all the cells if I don't do the big ones. I could probably. I could maybe condense it down to one. I really didn't. I kind of wanted just to go big this thing and not mix up the LCRs. Just do like one fluid per LCR for no other reason than just because. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll have to, I'll think about that, what I want to do. We'll definitely do some smaller machines as well. But this is a decently, this is a... Uh, Not the easiest of processes to do. Um, but anyway, let me uh, let me get into this. We are producing nitric acid, which is nice. Uh, but I do need the ethanone is what we need to do. So, uh, all right, we'll be back. Okay, I think I've uh, I, think I have decided how I'm going to do this. Now there is multiple ways to go about getting cetane boosted diesel, and. Uh, I think I'm going to go about it this way. Now, you can either go, you basically need the acetone, um, or you could do the acetic acid with some of the sulfuric acid. I'd rather not use sulfuric acid because we are using that for a few other things, actually. So I'd rather do this with acetone, I think. But there are multiple ways to get this. This is difficult to make, so I'm not going to do it that way. Uh, we could do it through wood vinegar, but wood vinegar, I would have to set up like another multi-block pyrolyze oven. And uh, eh, I don't I don't really want to do it that way. Um, we could set up a distillation tower to get us um, wood vinegar and wood tar and wood gas. Dimethyl benzene, we're actually going to be needing relatively soon, actually, but uh, there is other ways to get that you just mix benzene and methane which we get from this craziness that i have over here I think methane's in this one isn't it yeah methane so and there's our benzene uh i think yeah i think i'm gonna do i'm just looking at all the different <laughs> the different colors in these tanks i do love these tanks uh, it just they're a bit funny with a i wish they were a bit i wish they had like a better interface or a GUI or whatever. Um, did I get that ethylene as I was walking away? Yes. All right. So I think I'm going to go this route, which is oxygen and ethylene. I think we're going to do. And uh, we'll end up, eventually we'll just have so much ethylene and stuff. We, uh, we won't know what to do. Also, this does not use a lot of... Like you get, 
you use so little of this tetranitromethane, and after you produce it all, you actually don't use that much. But uh, all right, uh, I am going to set up the P2P stuff once I get this working. Um, but uh, so basically, I think. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. Also, there is methanol, carbon monoxide. So there is lots of different ways to go about doing this. I think this is the way I want to do it. A nine. Let's go ahead and do that. So ethylene, oxygen. Now that's going to do that, but I want to output fluid that way. Man, I wish you could, I wish there was an input or an output for an item and an output. I wish they were separate. Just gonna go ahead and say that, but um, I'll just use this conveyor to bounce these back. Basically, we're gonna pipe oxygen into this, and that will be how we get the things. We've done that a few times, so I'm not gonna bother. That where is my screwdriver? All right, so that that. We're gonna output that and then we will put this here. You can put it on either one, it doesn't really matter. Export, allow input. All right, so that, once this has oxygen in it, once I get that set up, it'll just bounce that back and forth. And there we go, there is our acetic acid. And we want calcium acetate solution. So we're gonna add calcium to this. Now um, I'm going to, oh, there's quick lime. You can use quick lime. Hmm. Is one better than the, one way, I'm just trying to think, is one way better than the other? It is a bit annoying. We do lose a thing. Is that, no, you do lose it. I didn't notice that actually we I thought it was a one to one ratio, but it actually doesn't look like it is. Oh, well. I'm just thinking, would it be better to distill this because then we get some of that quick line back and then we can actually use some of that quick line. You almost get it all back. Maybe I will. Instead of. Instead of fluid heating that up, which is kind of annoying because I crafted one up, but all right. Anyway, let's uh, we'll throw this down. Fluid output into there. There it goes, and uh, we want the calcium acetate solution, which is a one. Uh, so quick lime. Do we actually have? Do we have. We have a bunch of calcium to get us through, but um, eventually we'll need. Yeah, see, I don't have any quicklime. I don't remember where quicklime comes from. I mean, I guess. Such a random. We get it from ashes. Yeah. I hate this recipe. <laughs> Why'd you nerf my lava? Why? Why'd you nerf that? Oh, so many years ago, I got nerfed. Rip my lava. Uh, yeah, I ain't doing it that way. Screw that. Screw that uh, recipe. I'm just thinking maybe we can dump this back in and... Oh, wait. Does this work with... It does work with both. All right. I am thinking about this way too much, but... Uh... I still feel like, though, it would be more efficient stilling it. This is just so much quicker. <laughs> yeah, screw it. I got these things. I'm not going to... Don't worry about it. Calcium we can actually get from... Can we get it from, like, something really easy? Like, uh... I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that. Can't we get it from, like, bone, though? So, like, basically, you set up a mob farm. All right, there we go. That makes does make me a little sad. You only get half, but oh well. So, we'll do that. Again, output to the right. 
fluid, advanced heater. There we go. And then we will fluid heat this with a one. One. There we go. Sometimes it just doesn't update right away. That is a one to one. And then there is our acetone. And then we are going to do this again. And this will get us our ethanone. Also, I'm just realizing there is probably a quest somewhere that I didn't even think about that. I thought that was tungsten steel for a second. Uh, five. No. Three. Nope, that's synthetic rubber. Well, not seeing it, actually. Not jumping out right away. I'm not seeing... Uh, Satane boosted. Oh, that's its own thing, and that's its own thing. All right. So maybe not. Power. Solar. I'm not seeing it. We'll have not finished that quest, because I haven't done that. All right. Anyway, um, we're going to do that to... That, which is also a one. All right, there we go. There is our ethanone. Also, I'm just realizing I put this too far down. <laughs> I may need to move it over. Uh, I thought it was going to be longer than that. Oh, well, it, it's not the end of the world. I can just drop this down, but we are burning more EU than we need to. But, uh, all right, so there's our ethanone. And that will... Oh, just kidding. No, because I was going to do it in this. That's what I was going to do. So I was thinking I'm going to do this in there. So we need to pipe the ethanone into there. Oh, I have oxygen. I don't remember putting oxygen in there. What was that for? That was for nitric acid or something. A long time ago, I think that was. Um... I guess I'll just throw that in there. Yeah, that works. Uh, so, I'm going to do... Yeah, that in there. So, nitric acid, ethanone. And that will produce the tetronitromethane. And then what I'm going to do is... Pump that back in, I think. What do I want to do? Uh, again, the only issue with this is... This is going to run constantly, and it'll start voiding this. I don't want that to happen. Whereas you don't have to worry about that if you do that. You know what? I made room for it. Let's just do that here. So basically, we will... Um, yeah, another fluid canner. And a fluid canner chemical reactor. All right, let me get these two things crafted up. And yeah, and then I will let me craft up some of the P2P stuff that we need to get like the oxygen and the nitric acid and stuff over. Okay, I have a another change of plan. I think I am going to go back to doing this both recipes in here. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Um, also, I'd move these down. One for now. All right, so I do think I'm gonna try this now. Got input hatches. Usually I do input on the one side, output on the other. I think I'm going to switch this actually. And output hatch there. I do have some of these. So I can not, uh, if I don't need the hatches, we can use them somewhere else. Ew. Oh, that's right. I did HV hatch. I'd forgotten I'd done that. I did that for the um, when I was making ammonia. I think we'll do that. We're going to do a fluid detector cover. And then since it is 
HV holds how, how much? Do, I don't remember how much HV holds. Is it 64,000? Yeah, 64,000. Uh, I guess we'll do... We don't need that much of this, to be honest. Let's just do 10,000. And it will... I think... Inverted. I like inverted, because I like when it turns on with the redstone signal. And that's what... Right? I can never remember. I did it over here. What did I do over here? Enable a redstone, inverted. And it turns off if you have 8,000 in it. All right, so that is that. And uh, all right, so this will be the output hatch. Now, I do need to set some filters. So I'm actually going to break that. I'm going to break that. We're not getting any items out of this. We're gonna get water from this. I don't need the water, it can just be voided. So yeah, those are all hatches. Probably don't need the HV input hatch, but uh, we will do this. Now, the ethanone is gonna be in here. So it's gonna come out here. We'll maybe do I think I'm going to break that and then put that back. So ethanone in there. And then nitric acid will be going in this one. Now, I don't want to avoid this stuff, so let's just throw... Just kidding. I need eight. <laughs> That's right. So we got that. Should run. And then I can get the items and then we can set the things. Thankfully, that actually did what I wanted it to do. So I'm going to just lock that. Like that. And this output hatch definitely need to lock that. All right, so there is that. I was like, what is that huge? I thought that was, I thought that was taking up like half my uh, screen there for a second. Um, so we got that locked. And then what I'm actually going to do is put this back in. And we also need the fuel. You know what? Just kidding. I need a large one for fuel. Uh, I guess we'll go, let's see. That's going to be nitric acid. We're going to be using P2P on that. So let's do this, input hatch. And this will be fuel. But I do need to put this back in to the multi-block. No! Shoot, I am out of hatches. I need another... Nitric, ethanone, fuel. Yeah, I need one more thing. I don't have the tanks fully automated yet. The, uh, these, which we use in the, uh, input hatches. Yeah, I don't have these, and I don't have an assembler. I just kind of have to do it manually for what I need. Okay, we got uh, input hatch. I actually had an input hatch in the A system. Thankfully, uh, I did have to craft up the another output hatch. So there we go. There is our tetranitromethane. And then what we're going to do is just input this back in to... Back into the large chemical reactor. So all we have to do is... That automatically outputs in there, which is great. And then, yeah, we will throw the fuel in that one. And then we will, where do we want to output this? It doesn't super matter, to be honest. Let's do it here, I guess.
I think we are good. And then this will be output into a thing. Oh, actually, maybe I want to... Also, what do we need? 10? Yeah, 10. With a 24. I don't... I don't think the 24 is... going to be an issue. I could be wrong, though. Jet fuel. Look at that crazy thing. Are we going to have to craft up jet fuel for rockets later? Uh, yeah, I don't think 24 is going to mess with this because this doesn't have a number, thankfully. Uh, what did I say? 10? Yeah, we'll just grab a... Just to get this up and running, and then we will fully hook everything else up. Uh, but I won't. I'm not going to show that. Uh, we do need a circuit of 24, though. Thankfully, we have tons of these. And I remember which one is 24. So I have done it so many times. Oh, I had a one in there. I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, that was for the uh, ammonia. That's right. Okay, so I think, in theory, I should throw this in here and should run. Yeah, there it goes. Just took a second for it to figure itself out. All right, so that used 200 tetranitromethane, and there we go. There is our cetane boosted diesel. Now, we are definitely going to do that, block that. Um... The water will just void itself. We don't need to worry about that at all. But yeah, that's uh, relatively easy. Uh, a couple things we need to do is oxygen into here. Calcium, have that filled up. And I think nitric acid. And that is it. Man, that feels like way easier than it used to be. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Uh, I feel like the first season I had a row that was like <laughs> I swear it was about 15 machines to make satane boosted diesel that feels really easy and one of these is just canning the stuff I don't know that feels like way easy um we can just do this and that uh yeah I just need to get it hooked up to the rest of the stuff and that's pretty much automated i will feed this back into this tank or how do i want to do this okay so i pick the one block that can't get down maybe we will to be honest i could just dump it I want to put it in a... I don't want this tank full of this stuff. I don't need this fuel. I need... Like, this will be where I store the regular fuel, and then we'll always turn all this into cetane. So I think I'm just going to actually use this up, and then maybe put... Maybe put a tank on this to directly input. I think that's what I'm going to do, maybe. But uh, a lot of that is just me kind of sorting out my infrastructure at this point. That is still chugging along, and that is fine. I mean, we're doing pretty good on power. That's not even running at the moment. All right, so that is basically Satane Boosted Diesel. That will do that. I still need to get oil running into here with Ender Tanks. I just have been putting that off. I just, we're going to have to get to it, but uh, I do have to, uh, yeah. yeah, also, I don't have a great source of Enderim. All right, uh, before I wrap up, though, I want to get this upgraded, and that is basically just going to have to let this run a little bit, uh, but now that we have Satane boosted diesel, um, I don't have to worry about that running out of... Uh, fuel. 
But uh, all right, I'll be back and it's probably, it's going to be a while. I like an hour and a half of real time, I think. That reminds me, I, uh, I'm going to show my statistics. So someone asked how long I've been playing. We have uh, almost 20 played days is what we are up to. So what is that? Or I can do math. 480 hours. Okay, I've got this uh, chugging along. It is smelting up the tongue still. Everything is going well, but uh, it is taking a little bit of time. Uh, so I may have to wrap this episode up. Um, I do think I messed this up a little bit because I was realizing if this fills up, It'll turn the multi-block off, so it won't actually be able to use up the tetranitromethane. So if we're producing that faster than we are using it, eventually this is going to turn off, and we won't be able to produce the cetane-boosted uh, diesel. So I may, maybe I need to put it on that one. I'll have to think about that one, actually. Um, I might just have to uh, see if I could sort that out. So I basically need Yeah, the problem is if it produces maybe we can turn this off or something like that as opposed to turning the multi-blog off. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But uh I moved the thing over there as you can see it is emptying into this hatch and that is running. I've already got 500 something thousand cetane boosted diesel. Uh, I've added uh, the P2P things there, so we got our oxygen in there. You see it is running, producing the ethylene, the acetic acid, so on and so forth. Uh, that is going in there. And uh, I have connected everything underneath. As we can see, um, the thing comes out on the bottom of there. There's the cetane diesel, and then that is being put into there. So that is running on that. Um, all right, so uh, smelting up all the tungsten steel that we need. Actually, get rid of all this now. I still feel like that was easier than I remember it in the past. Um, so we'll get the coal blocks built next episode. Also, dynamo hatch, we will upgrade that. Um, so we can put oxygen into our multi-block. It's more efficient, and we get three amps of EV as opposed to just the one that we are getting now with that. But um, I don't know how much faster this burns through the cetane boosted diesel. We are producing it right now, but I mean, that is tearing through that pretty quick. So I don't know. Uh, I think it goes faster when you add oxygen. But uh, all right. Like I said, we'll come back next episode and uh, we will progress a bit more. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks to my Patreons. Uh, if you want to join my Discord or link to Patreon, it is down below in the description. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.